Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Stevens Week, the weekly update of marketing and technology. Welcome to this new episode, everyone. Didi, the Chinese car sharing service, is working on its 5G deployment. Um, somewhere next year, they want to install 5G hotspots in uh, cars. Um, so the, the goal actually for them is to make sure that they can offer entertainment while people are enjoying their ride sharing service. Uh, and maybe that they will have the opportunity to start uh, gaming on big screens in the car or watch entertainment or watch content. And they're not just doing this to increase the customer experience. This is actually an additional source of revenue for them. They hope that they will be able to let people pay for that content or that entertainment while they are on board of a DD car. And this, of course, is only possible thanks to the fast connections of 5G and the cars that they will use will become 5G hotspots. <laughs> I just want to add this item. It's not world news, but I thought it was really funny and it's an example of interfaces being used in a completely different way. Uh, in Russia, some farmers are now using VR uh, with their cows. So they're putting cows of uh, some VR glasses on and they're experimenting to see if the production of milk and the happiness of the cows would increase if they see more nature around them. And I thought it doesn't get much crazier than this. <laughs> Netflix invested in a movie theater in New York. They basically acquired a movie theater called the Paris Theater that was abandoned now for a few years and they're gonna revive it. Uh, and they got a lease on it for 10 years. And the only reason why they're doing this is the are the Oscars, the prestigious awards in the movie industry. Um, if you wanna win an Oscar, your movie has to be played in a traditional movie theater, not just on a streaming service channel. Um, so Netflix really wants to win some Oscars this year. And rumor is that the Irishman, the movie that they're launching, with uh, Scorsese is gonna be the winner for the most important uh, Academy Awards. Um, and this is important for Netflix. They really wanna win this game. Uh, traditional movie houses don't wanna invest in those classic Oscar movies anymore. They just go for superhero movies, but Netflix has that money. And they believe with those kind of prestigious awards and prestigious movie projects, they will acquire new um, customers and it will include a new face of growth for Netflix. Amazon uh, announced a pretty big move. They're going to merge the Alexa platform with their uh, web services platform. And AWS is the largest cloud platform in the world. And now they're going to merge Alexa with that. And what's going to happen is that they're going to allow uh, people, manufacturers that create uh, devices for in your house to integrate a very small chip in those devices, which will allow them to connect that device to the Amazon cloud and they have access to all the services that Alexa is offering. So this opens the door for many, many developers and many companies to make sure that the Alexa technology is integrated in any home uh, appliance that you may buy. And this is a next step for Amazon to make sure that the Alexa uh, technology becomes part of your day-to-day -day life and that you're surrounded by Alexa tools uh, to make sure that they become the world leader in terms of voice technology. So everyone, this was my weekly update. Thank you for watching. Please share the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Have a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you again next Friday. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.